Hi everyone! I hope you're enjoying um, the time that you're spending at home with your families. I'm at home with my family trying to stay busy and do a lot of different activities and one of the activities that we are doing a lot of these days is reading. So I thought I'd share a couple books with you today. Um, the first book I know is a favorite in the Yellow Room and that book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon lay an egg on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, and he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The pad caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. One thing that the children like to do when we read this book in the classroom is tell me all about their favorite colors that they see on the butterfly. So maybe you can share that with your moms and dads. The next book that I wanted to share with you is a Dr. Seuss book called Oh the Things You Can Think. And my son loves reading this book and looking at the different shapes and asking, what's this? What's this? And what's this? So see if you can figure out what some of the shapes are. Oh the Things You Can Think by Dr. Seuss. You can think about red. You can think about pink. You can think up a horse. Oh, the things you can think. Oh, the sinks you can think up if only you try. If you try, you can think up a guff going by. I think this is the guff. And you don't have to stop. You can think about schlop. Schlop, schlop, beautiful schlop. Beautiful schlop with a cherry on top. I think this is the schlop right here. You can think about night. A night in an anoop. The birds are asleep and the three moons are up. One, two, three moons. You can think about day. A day in a dudake. The water is blue and the birds are awake. Think, think and wonder, wonder and think. How much water can 55 elephants drink? You can wonder, how long is the tail of a zong? I think that this creature here is the zong and you can see his long tail. Think of light, think of bright, Think of stairs in the night. See the stairs? Think, 
Think a ship. Think up a long trip. Go visit the vi Vipper. The Vipper of Vip. I think that's him. Think left and think right and think low and think high. Oh, the things you can think up if you only try. The end. It was nice reading stories to you today. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.